Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your remote session was disconnected error on your Windows computer. So if you are using the remote desktop protocol feature and you're running into this problem, we're going to go over how to hopefully resolve it. And we're going to jump right into it by opening up the start menu. Left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on Rise Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. And once you have this open, I would suggest creating a backup of your registry before proceeding in the tutorial. And in order to do that, you just would left click on the file tab at the top left one time. Left click on export. Now you want to save this as something that you'll be able to easily recognize and then save it to an easy to access location on your computer. Preferably probably the date probably be a pretty smart file name. Export range, I'd recommend selecting that to all. And then you just would left click to save to save it. And then if you ever needed to go back to a previous version of the registry, you just would do file import and you would just import it back in. Pretty straightforward. So once you've created your backup, you want to go ahead and expand the HQ local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. Now you want to go down to software. So expand the software folder. And now you want to expand Microsoft. So expand Microsoft here. Now you want to locate something that says MS licensing. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. and you want to go ahead and expand this key now there should be something that says store right here you want to right click on it and then left click on delete and it's going to ask are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys left click on yes now that you've done that you want to go ahead and back out of this a little bit and we're going to go back up to Microsoft collapse this one by clicking on the little arrow so now we're back to the software folder here. Collapse that one as well. And now you want to go underneath system. So now you want to just expand the system folder. Double click or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. And now locate the current control set. Expand that one. Expand the control folder. Scroll down to terminal server. Expand that one. And now there should be something that says RCM right here and now expand that one again so there should be something that says grace period in here you want to right click and then delete it if you find that you're unable to delete it successfully you might have to click on permissions and then locate your user account on the side over here so you might have to click on users and then select full control allow and then you would allow this by clicking apply and OK and now you should be able to delete this folder without issue and you can see it's been deleted. So at this point, close out of the registry editor. Hopefully that will have resolved the problem, restart your computer. Um, if you're still having problems here, you can try one more thing, and that would be to open up the start menu, type in services. Best match to come back with services, left click on that one time. Now you want to locate the remote desktop service. And we're going to scroll down here. So remote desktop services, you want to left click on that one time and then on the left side here you want to left click where it says restart the service. Do you want to restart these services? Left click on yes. And that should be about it. So close out of here, restart your computer and hopefully if you try connecting again it should go through. So as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.